Anyway, we are on the streets of Norwich with Andy, who's been homeless for how long? 16 months this time. Yeah. What triggered your homelessness? Uh, breakdown in work, epilepsy, illness, mental illness. I haven't been out of work anymore. Things going on, you know what I mean? No one giving you any help, basically. They don't. You see people sleeping in shop doorways, but then they put other people up in hotels, and it don't make no sense. Now I've got mental health, he's got mental health, so why are we at it? So you had an accident? Yeah. A bike accident, you were on a yeah. bike, you were and, probably and drunk, my, right? Yeah, you know, from, from, from... And you said you were a fisherman in Cornwall, right? Yeah, uh, like Cornwall, Scotland, Spain, Vigo, France, all over fishing. You, you had your own boat? No, I was just one other people's boat, but I got class on skipper's ticket, take up to 500 tonnes to sea for two weeks. Of, of what? Sorry? Uh, two tons of what? Five and tons of boat. Oh, right. Five right. and tons of boat to see for two weeks. Right, right. And what, what did you catch? Crabs oh. and lobsters. Crabs and lobsters. Yeah, yeah. Really? Sustainable fishing, see? Always, always eco friendly. Hey, hey, hey. All right, and they will tell us about your like childhood and stuff, you know, growing up. I grew up in Cornwall, by the seaside, by the beaches. All Cornwall's all nice, by beaches, surfing. Uh, I went boat when I was 12, I didn't go to school, so I'm from a gypsy site. Are oh, you from the tink, tink, gypsy tinkers? Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I made my own money. By the time I was 12, I had my own little boat, which I used to run. I see. So no schooling, just straight to work, skipper? Yeah. And then... Uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to go to school, but the school wouldn't have me because I knew I was a gypsy. They're very prejudiced around here about gypsies. All right, Andy. And tell me, how is it to be homeless in Norwich? Do, do you get a lot of like help? No, no. The wrong people get the help. Lots of people pretend to be homeless. And they go to these centres and they give out food. And there's people going in there who's got flats, they've got bed sits, but because they're friendly to the people and they know them and they're on the list, they get fed. But there's people like us, because we don't want to argue with them, we don't get fed. But we are actually homeless. And I still, I don't even drink normally, but I drink just because it eases the pain. Right. What about like a family? You've got family and... I have no family left now. No family no, left. No. Sorry to hear that, Andy. Sorry. And tell me if there is any advice to people who are like, you know, on the streets and think that's cool. Is there any Be advice? Careful. Be careful. Be careful. Dangerous, especially the street at night. We could go find somewhere nice to sleep and then... Some drunken guys for fun will come and beat you up and nick your sleeping bag just for fun. And that's their, that's their, that's their idea of a good night out. Uh -huh. Has, did it happen to you? Yeah, loads of times, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got our stuff nicked and all that. What happened to your hand, my friend? It's just, it's just a bike got infected, feet are bad too. Can't get, get into doctors because I ain't got an address. It's fucking... That's about that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, and uh, is there somebody watching this and wants to help you? Is there any way to contact you, like a phone number or There's email? Phone. Every time I have a phone, every time I have a fit, someone will steal it, see? So the only way is to find you here in Norwich on the, on the streets? Yeah, there weren't always mobile phones, were there? People did used to talk to each other before mobile phones, didn't they? But yeah, and that's, how, that's, how, that's, that's how it gets, so you get... You get pushed off the radar, you've got no phone, you've got no address, and then you don't exist, so you're not a problem, man. All right, Andy. And is there anything else you would like, you would like to say? you like to say anything, John? Yeah, he's hard, isn't it? All right, well, Andy, I, uh, thanks for, for the interview. I will interview uh, your friend. What's, what's your friend's name? Joe. Joe, right now. Hey, Joe. Joe. Yeah, and I wish you all the best. Yeah. What did you say? Gay Joe. Gay Joe. Gay Joe. Gay Joe. No. All right. Thanks a lot, my friend. All right. Do you know? Do you know Vernon Castle? Yeah. Oh, he's famous. It's, it's all bullshit history. Fake history, you know. All right. It's fake. Yeah, fake history. You know when people tell lies that goes down in history. Like you, you obviously know, like being from Poland and all that. People get persecuted and stuff. Yeah.
Well, he didn't. He, he was, a, he was, he was an inventor of a modern dance. <laughs> no, no, he, was a, he was a rich boy who wanted to be famous. That's all he was. I've read up on him. I see. A rich, rich, man rich boy, plenty of money, plenty of publicity. All right, interesting. Thank you. I, I know better, better homeless people are better dancer than him. <laughs> Vlog at Zupa. Vlog at Zupa. There was a boy who was sincero. There was a boy who was sincero.